why I was addicted to video games for like five years. I thought about it and now it actually makes sense. My real life five years ago it was bad. My family was fighting every day. My dad had a bad car accident. I was a loser at school. I had no friends. I was ugly. I was fat. I had bad grades. People were bullying me. Teachers were bullying me. My family was bullying me. And I found a way to escape. And there was a virtual world. When I turned on my PlayStation and I loaded up a game called Paladins, I was really good at it. I was like a pro player. I played in some teams. I had a lot of scrims, a lot of knowledge, because I put like hundreds of hours into the game, maybe even th probably thousands of hours. The last time I checked, I had like 356 days of playtime, which is like a whole fucking year. And I had 365 days of game time within two years. So from two whole years, one year I spent in that video game. 50% of my time in two years I spent in the video game, which is crazy. And I got quite good at it and I was playing in pro teams and I also had like some pro games like streaming on Twitch and stuff like that and like professional scrims. I was like a really good guy at that game. I had status. I played ranked, I got to Grandmaster, it's like the highest rank, you know, they're like different divisions, different ranks. I got to Grandmaster, which is like top 100, almost every season. If I really grinded, like I even got to number one for a short amount of time. Like I was number one in the world at a game. It didn't have a, have a, have a big player base or whatever, but as soon as I loaded up the game, I was like someone. People knew me by my name. I constantly played against the same people. They respected me or they hated me because I was better than them. And I respected or hated other people because they were better than me or like on the same level. I was like a professional in that game. I got status. I was a someone in that game. And then in real life, as soon as I turned the game off, I was a nobody again. No one noticed me, no attention from girls, guys whatsoever. People were not even treating me nice. But as soon as I loaded up the game, I was like the king. I was like the best. And how I was able to quit this addiction and playing video games for like 18 hours, like most of my time for like five years, was by replacing this habit with something else. And I had to find something which gives me the same satisfaction. So like status, like you're someone, you're like number one in the world. Progress. You start at zero, you level up your character, you get better at playing the character, you learn like, like different cards and loadouts, which you can put points in, then you can like adjust your playstyle. Or different tactics or communicating with the team. Like progress, I always like progress. And status. So what is there in real life that gives me the same like things which I was looking for inside of a video game? And that's how I was able to quit video games. I replace video games with working out. And if you think about it, they both have the same values. Getting, like winning in a, in, a, in a video game or getting to place number one or playing a program gives you status, which building muscle also does. But in real life, people respect you in real life, not in the game. You get attention from girls, not in the game. You get better mental health. When you play video games, it gets worse. You get status in real life, but you also get status in the game. So I had to like find something which is like on the same level, but in real life and much more productive, much healthier, and people respect inside the real world. Because you all, like everyone makes fun of gamers, you know, like people who just spend all the time in the virtual world. <clears throat> and you and hear like teachers or parents talking bad about them. That's because they're leveling up in a virtual world which is not real instead of real life. So you have to find something which can replace that in real life, which will give you status and a sense of progress. And there's not only martial arts or working out. For me, it was like working out in martial arts because it has the same values. But it can be like almost anything, like some other kind of sports besides working out like muscle growth and martial arts. It can be building a business, it can be drawing, it can be like literally any other hobby where you can progress in and get status from the results that you get. And that's how you can replace like video games with something else. 
because it's like on the same level, but in the real world, which is a thousand times better. And then you turn into the hero in real life. I was number one in a video game. No one cares. No one remembers my name now. If I get number one in real life in like a certain category or I'm doing well in business or well in school or well in working out or well in martial arts, people will notice I will go to like number one, of course. The world has much more competition than like a video game, but I can climb up the ladder and then people will respect me at a certain point, which is exactly the same that I've had in a video game. But because my real life was all shit, I tried to escape into that world. But I had to find out the hard way that escaping into the world is not going to help me. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help anyone. At the end of the day, you're in the real world and you can't escape that. So you make the best out of it by putting your time and effort into progress in the real world, not in a stupid video game.